Hello Libra and welcome. This is your weekly tarot reading. Let's see what we have for you. I'm using the Lord Ganesha deck. Lord Ganesha, your card has turned over really quickly as well. <laughs> Lord Ganesha helps overcome obstacles and challenges, internal, external. So we have your first card that's come out, Libra. We have number 23, empowerment. So that's the energy around you this week. You are empowered. Okay, let's pull some tarot cards and see what the week ahead has in store for you. So welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. I am Andrea. We're looking at the weekly tarot reading for Libra Sun, Moon Rising and Venus. It will be from the 5th to the 11th of September 2022. And remember, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you as always. Let's see what we have for our lovely Librans, please. Angels, Spirits, Guides message for Libra thank you message for Libra so Libra we have the seven of swords with that we have the two of pentacles the three of cups the high priestess intuitive energy We have the Seven of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, <laughs> we have the Nine of Cups, I love that, and we have the Eight of Wands, I love these energies. I mean, granted there is some kind of stress, you know, at some point in the week here going on, stress, worry, anxiety, and it's because you just don't know. You know, the Nine of Swords can be when we overthink, when we overdwell, where there's reasons for us to, I mean, this is based in fact, so something has caused you some to, for something to prey on your mind, where you're really overthinking and overdwelling and overanalyzing, you know, worry, anxiety, stress. So something's caused that here, Libra. So it feels it feels you're wondering if you're going to get your wish. It does feel that you are. I love these energies. So the Seven of Swords here, Libra. The Seven of Swords can be where you're doing something secretly in the next week or so. You might have already been doing something secretly. This energy is picking up on um, acting secretly. So keeping your cards close to your chest. And always as an energy, this will be keep your own counsel in regard to that as well. So sometimes, you know, if you feel that you want to share things with people in terms of it feels in this energy pursuing a new job or career, uh, there's a feeling here of, of there's a feeling here of just keep your own counsel because this is sometimes what we do. We don't want our current employee to find out that we're pursuing other avenues, other job opportunities. So, you know, we keep things close to our chest. It's a hidden agenda energy. But it's with a view to being more uh, successful and happy and joyous. You know, that's the energy that I'm getting quite strongly. Because there's a feeling here, Libra, of you're evaluating, you've been persevering on a path, you've been looking at your options, um, pursuing options even, and taking stock, evaluating here uh, with regard to a decision coming your way. Am I going to get the decision that I want? Am I going to get the opportunity that I want? This is, it could go either way. I just don't know which way it could go. I've put energy and time towards opportunity or pursuing new opportunities, but I just don't know. I don't know which way it's going to go. I'm waiting for a decision, but I don't know. I haven't got a clue which, what, which way they're going to go. Um, this can sometimes represent for me as a reader. I can't leave my current place of work until I grab onto a new opportunity you know so this is that in between stage that you're feeling feeling a little bit in between worlds here you know and wanting to move to the new world energy but can't quite let go of the old world until the new appears and that's what i'm getting quite strongly for you yeah because this is the energy here libra i just i don't know if i'm going to be successful you know now whatever's caused you stress anxiety whether you know, you've experienced that in your current place of work, whether, you know, uncertainty or fear of the unknown, if you were worried about 
you know, the stability of your job, you know, that could be a factor here as well for some of you. I'm intuitively picking up on the future of the company. If changes are happening, restructuring is going on, mergers, acquisitions, you know, could even be bankruptcy. Something could have precipitated you or been the catalyst here for you to start taking action to pursue opportunities here. So for some of you, I'm picking up that thread quite strongly. So that might resonate for you. Stress, worry, anxiety is making you worry and you're worried now are you going to be successful that three of one three of cups is i i'm i'm stressed i'm worried all sorts of things are happening at the moment and i'm i'm wondering if i'm going to be successful in the routes that i'm pursuing the three of cups is reasons to celebrate and this energy of the high priestess you are empowered this week you are being guided by spirit this week the high priestess is our connection to spirit it's that invisible connection to spirit. We feel it. We feel it through our intuition. We feel that presence of spirit with our instinct. You know, how you read a situation is feeling positive, intuitively. You feel that whatever options that you have pursued, you're going to hit the bullseye on one new opportunity here. But there's a feeling here of, of I just intuitively I feel this, but I don't know. I'm waiting for the decision here. So there's a strong energy here of, of your intuition is really guiding you very strongly. So trust that because how you're instinctively feeling about interactions with new opportunities is right. You know, so have faith in that. And that's what you're being told. This is the energy here of the nine of cups. Am I going to get my wish? Am I going to get my dream? Am I going to get have reasons to be thankful and celebrate here? The nine of cups is a very successful energy. Uh, because it's t it takes work, you know, but this is somebody who's now satisfied and content and, you know, has reached a point where they just want to celebrate what they've achieved. So this is that feeling here of that contentment, that wish you intuitively feel is coming your way. It's a lovely energy of reasons to be thankful, celebrations, joy, real happiness and joy. The Eight of Wands is the news is coming. So this feels like for some of you, it can represent news brings forward movement. Uh, so for some of you, it could well be for some of you, you're getting the news that you want this week. For some of you, it could be news where things start moving forward, you know, towards the next point. But it does feel for some of you, Spirit is telling you, don't worry, it's going to end in celebration. But this feels like there's forward movement, positive shifts, news coming in that's very positive for you. And it's all, all heading towards that Nine of Cups. So let's... Let's get a couple of advice cards and see. Any additional message for Libra with regard to the Eight of Wands? News, communication, forward movement. Any additional message for the Eight of Wands, please? For Libra. Any additional message for Libra, thank you. The Five of Swords, victory. This is winning. Yeah, the Six of Pentacles, you're going to receive some kind of offer. Libra, you're at the bottom of the deck. Queen of Swords, male or female, this is you. This is somebody who is, this is you coming into your own. Uh, Queen of Swords as an energy is balance, you know, feeling balanced, feeling everything's in harmony again. So the Five of Swords and the Six of Pentacles is you are you're going to be victorious you know if you've been competing for things here for jobs business opportunities the five of swords says yeah there are winners and losers here you are going to be the winner though and the six of pentacles is an offer you know somebody reaching out offering you something now i will say libra if this was somebody doing something concealing to you and you were waiting for some kind of decision on getting a monetary award of some kind. This could also be victory on, on that level too, in the sense that there's news communication coming in that's linked with a victory and a success. It's been difficult, it's been challenging, but there's a strong energy here of that harmony 
is restored by an offer you're getting. So that's what I'm seeing quite strongly. The scales are rebalanced for you and you're coming into your own again. And it feels like feeling very satisfied and content. You're going to get what you want. So that was just something that was flagged up to me as well. This could be a job opportunity, a business opportunity, or it could be a sum of money, business assets, property coming your way that is linked to some kind of hard-won victory here. But there's victory either way. It feels like there's, in the near future, you're empowered. You are empowered. You're coming into your own again. It's a lovely energy and balance is restored. And it's the balance of universal law, you know. Uh, so if you've been pursuing opportunities by your actions, you're restoring balance in some way. And there's some kind of offer being made to you. Okay, final message for Libra. I feel you're getting the clarity coming in. Final message for Libra. Yeah. We have manifestation. Be very honest and clear about what you wish to manifest in your life. Now write it down on paper. Manifestation step one. And we have, yeah, magical blessings. I love this. We have whatever you're going through, you're being assisted by magical fairy blessings. The fairies say you can bless others too. It feels for some of you, it's a very fortunate week, you know. The cards are showing it's a, a fortunate week for you. That's what I have. I hope you enjoyed your reading, found it helpful, useful. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe and I will see you next time.